creator and founder of Silky Sacks, and I'm here today to do a review on this Jana Collection Feel a Little Wig. But if this is your first time ever coming over to Silky Sacks, I want to say thank you so much and welcome. Here we do wig reviews, we do product reviews, hair tutorials, we give hair tips every Monday and Friday. It is free, so if that's your kind of thing and you're into that, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever we drop a video. And if you're watching over on Facebook, we love you over on the FB too. Go ahead and give this video a like and a share. And then on both platforms, you guys, leave me a comment. Let's talk about Fila. Do you like her? I think she is super cute. You know I love a blonde wig. If you watch me a lot, I'm loving the color on this one. So let's have a conversation. Let me know how you're feeling about her as well. And on every single wig review, I love to send a shout out to my Silky Chicks. That is what I call my subs. And today's shout out is going to She's Lonnie. She has a YouTube channel. She did like makeup videos and stuff. She hasn't done anything in a while. So I hope that you continue to pick some um, looks back up. She's Lonnie, but go ahead and check her out if you would like to see some of her content. It's pretty cool. And I want to say thank you so much for taking the time to comment. And now without further ado, let's get into why you hit that thumb there. Let's talk about Fila, Ila, 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 Fila. All right, so this is Fila. She is from Jenna Collection's new essential collection. She is a synthetic lace wig. She has HD lace. She is pretty long. I'm going to go ahead and guess that she's well into at least, I would say, about 32 inches. She is super long. She is going all the way um, really to the top, uh, the bottom of my back, okay? Hitting that little butt line a little bit. So you can see a little bit on the card on the model. And I love this model. Isn't she cute? She cute. You cute, girl. Whoever you are, you cute. So I am rocking her in the color Honey Blonde. She comes in a lot of other colors. Amber Red, Sandy Blonde, Toffee Cream. Um, this has HD Lace, as I said earlier. High, defini high definition, the meltdown. You know, I didn't even have to melt this down. I didn't even put no heat in this. She's laying flat, flat, okay? Flat, flat. That's what we like. I like her. Soft lace, I agree. The pre-plucked hairline, I'm not so much in agreement with. But the way this wig is made, the way it's styled, you really don't have to have a pre-plucked hairline because you really can't see it. Now, I guess if you want to pull it back, then you can. But I didn't think it was a big deal. I don't really think, though, the, the hairline is super pre-plucked. But that's just my opinion. You can shift her to the right to the left. I'm going ahead and rock her in the center because I think she's cute. She's giving me boho vibes or Malibu Barbie. Right? These soft beach waves, right? That is giving me Malibu Barbie, you guys. I'm loving it. So I like um, that she is more of a I would definitely say she's a, 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 a yakky silky texture. Definitely a yakky silky texture. I love the color and I'm loving the density on this one. I'm loving the density on this one. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing, the styling, my pros and cons and final thoughts on this unit. And if you need to really take care of your edges, well, everybody needs to take care of their edges, but if you're looking for some oils and a way to like continue to protect them, if you need to grow them, if they're thinning or whatever from doing the protective style and all the things that we love to do to our hair, then we have put together a free PDF giving you five oils that you can start using right now to uh, help just protect your edges, rebuild those edges so you don't have to Google and figure out which ones are good. We've already done that for you. The link to it is down in the description box. Please go down there and check it out. And now without further ado, let's get into the review. Go ahead and watch the whole thing, sis, so you can see the pros and cons and everything, okay? And leave me a comment and a like. All right, go ahead. Let's do it. All right, so here is Fila. Let's go ahead and open her up. So here Fila is. She is a very pretty not getting any shedding or tangling as I'm rubbing my fingers through you got that part here on the left you got the baby hairs going on they're kind of long too um and that is it so let's go ahead and put open up the cap I'm sorry not put it on but open up the cap you see here where you see that middle part the two excuse me combs on the side one comb on the back Typical adjustable straps, and I like that it has that stretch. So let's go ahead and put her on. Okay, so let me just make sure I can see y'all. She is. She is feeling a little snug. She is feeling a little snug, so we'll see if she gets snugger with the lace once it gets cut off. My part is kind of not in the middle now, is it? But. 
I like her. Okay, Fila Gianni collection. So let's go ahead and get into this 360. So let me sit up a little bit so you can see. So here she is in the front. Fila to the right. Fila to the left. Fila in the back. So I am going to go ahead, cut the lace off, style her, and then I will come back with my pros and cons. All right, so I am back from styling Fila, and I am feeling Fila. Oh, I like her. What? Hey, I like her. What? 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 I like her. Yes. Hey, I like her. So let's get into it. Fila is what I like to call you guys an easy throw on and go. So I went ahead and took and tinted the lace with my Eben tint spray. This spray, I have heard some um, people say that when they melt their wig down, it kind of makes the lace crusty. I have not experienced that. However, some people have, so just be aware. But I do like it, and I do use it to um, spray my HD lace when I want to match the lace. So, went in with the spray, sprayed the lace, let her dry, put it on. When I cut the lace off, she definitely didn't get any more snug. So just be aware if you have um, a bigger head or longer hair, she might be kind of snug, but she's not bad. Like she's not giving me a headache or anything like that, but she is snug. I definitely don't feel like I need to glue her down or anything like that, which to me is a plus because I love an easy throw and go. I do not like having to glue down and do a whole bunch of stuff if I don't have to. So once I did that, then I went ahead and went in with my Lotta Body Mousse because she is a blonde synthetic wig and she is long. I did want to go ahead and put some mousse to help with the frizzes and the frays and just like those loose sporadic hairs that come with blonde hair. So I rubbed that in when I was rubbing it in with my fingers. I did experience a little bit of tangling, did get some shedding. Um, it was a lot of shedding actually, but I do expect that for a long blonde wig. So for me, it wasn't anything um, out of the normal, but if you don't like a lot of shedding, you may wanna consider getting a different color or um, just be aware that, you know, she is going to shed. She is going to do some tangling. Then I went in with my boar brush and brushed her out. Um, like I said, a little bit of shedding and tangling. And last but not least, then I went in with my Fit Me Powder to just open up this part a little bit more. Especially since um, the roots are dark. And that was it, you guys. That was it. So let's get into the pros and cons. So for pros. Pros, you guys, she is an easy throw on and go. For you lazy wig wearers like me, she is a dream come true. All you have to do is tint your lace, throw her on, put a little mousse or a little whatever you put in your wig, brush her out, and you good to go. I love the color. I love that the roots are dark and go into this beautiful um, sandy blonde. Super cute. I love the beach waves. Okay, I'm feeling like I'm getting my Malibu Barbie going on, like I said earlier. I like the length. Now, I know for some that is a con, but I like the length, and I also like the density. I feel like it's a longer wig, and usually longer wigs don't have a lot of density. And not saying that this has a lot of density, but I think it's a perfect density. It's just enough where I feel like it's not too thin like some longer wigs are. I just think it's perfect. Now, for the con. She's a shedder. She's a tangler. So, you know, the shedding and tangling is going to be real. So if you're going to wear her out, then go ahead and bring that boar brush because you're going to get some shedding. You're going to get some tangling. Um, you always can cut her if that's a con for you as far as length. I know that is a con for some people. But that's really it, you guys. Fila is super cute. And if you don't like a lot of shedding and tangling, you can always try her in another color because she just does come in other colors, like I said. But I'm liking Fila. Okay, Janet Collection, I see you. I see you. And, of course, when I take this wig off, I'm not going to put it back into the plastic that it came out of. I'm going to put it in a luxurious silky sack. A silky sack is a luxurious silk line bag that I invented to not only store your wigs in, but to add longevity to them. The silk lining allows the hair to just glide, cutting down on the shedding, tangling, and matting that it would do if you were to put it back into the plastic. Yes, plastic will dry your hair out, right? That's why we sleep in bonnets and not shower caps. I'm just saying. So, if you're interested in Silky Sacks and some of the other great products that we sell, check out the website. The link to it will be down below. As always, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Remember, better care is better wear, and I hope to see you in the next video.
Thank you.